This is Witchspace News for Friday the 6th of March 2020. I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...a personal fleet carriers arriving sooner than we all thought... ...the return of Galnet and community goals is officially confirmed... ...a new community manager joins Frontier Developments and we'll also have a sprinkling of community updates. If you enjoy this video consider subscribing and also click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. In an interesting post to the forums this week community manager Stephen Benedetti announced that the next patch and bug fix for Elite Dangerous was going to be rolled into the fleet carrier update rather than have two separate code releases as, in his words, it's always more efficient to combine content and fixes into a single update in order to reduce the time spent preparing and deploying those releases. So we know for sure that there will be no more patches to the game before the release of carriers but the carrier release will have a bug fix rolled out with it. A recent livestream schedule posted on the forums shows that Will and Steven will be livestreaming together on Thursday the 19th of March. If Frontier are going to announce something it will be on a Thursday livestream. Likewise if they're announcing something it's almost a given that senior community manager Will Flanagan will be present. Will isn't doing any other livestreams in the evening this month. That's the only one. On last nights livestream Stephen Benedetti said that an announcement would be coming soon. Really soon. Frontier originally stated last year after the September update that bug fixes this year would be coming every 3 to 4 months. The last bug fix landed in January. By that schedule the next bug fix is due in April and we now know that the next bug fix includes fleet carriers. We initially thought that fleet carriers would be arriving around the middle of the year but in the announcement of the delay back in October Will actually said fleet carriers would be deferred until the second quarter of 2020. The second quarter of 2020 starts in April. This is obviously speculation and guesswork but if you connect the dots the general rumblings from Frontier do point to something on the immediate horizon whether it's a massive frame shift surge remains to be seen but we'll be watching the upcoming livestream schedule very closely indeed. Answering a question regarding Galnet on last nights livestream Stephen Benedetti confirmed Frontiers position that Galnet news still reports on things actually happening in the game like CGs, new ships or modules etc and that whilst nothing was on it at the moment that doesn't mean it's dead and as soon as Galnet has something to report it will report it. For those that didn't watch the Frontier livestream senior community manager Will Flanagan has further attempted to clear up the recent community confusion with a post to the forums that states very directly that in game Galnet News will be returning at an as of yet unannounced point in the future as will community goals. So just to clarify Galnet is not dead. It will be coming back community goals are also coming back. Whilst the game might be somewhat quiet at the moment we do now at least know that this stuff is definitely returning. A new community manager joined Frontier this week and was introduced on the livestream last night. Bruce Garrido who goes by the online moniker of Gambit joins Frontier from Jagex where he worked on the MMO RuneScape. Whilst fielding questions about Elite Dangerous last night Bruce was inevitably asked what he thought about fleet carriers and he said the following ...fleet carriers are awesome. They're going to have a massive massive impact on the game and very fundamentally change the way commanders play together and with each other. The systems they introduce are super exciting and novel. Whilst this information is of course quite woolly and non-specific it is still more information than we've had on carriers in well over 6 months. Without reading too much into what all this might mean it is starting to feel like we might know really really soon. In other staffing news Frontier also took on a new PR and marketing manager for Elite Dangerous this week by the name of Jose Herreres ...I hope I pronounced that right. It's not frankly something I'm well known for ...and Dr K Ross who is one of the developers most directly responsible for the creation of the 1 to 1 scale galaxy in Elite 
did announce that she was leaving Frontier for personal reasons recently but I'm very glad to say that she has in fact reversed that decision and is sticking around for the foreseeable future. Good news indeed. And now for some community news. If you're looking for some activities to participate in in the game this coming week Operation Ida are currently repairing Exodus Point in the Hades sector. This will be their 109th repair. If you do join in with that repair be sure to register with the Ida Discord to log your deliveries. If you're looking for a gateway into the world of player vs player combat in Elite then Commander Exegius runs a weekly Sidewinder slaughter event that is a fantastic consequence free way to learn the ropes of one of Elite's more challenging combat experiences. You'll find links to his level 11 discord below to get you started. And finally Commander Rini and I were interviewed on the Loose Screws podcast last weekend where we chewed the fat with Commanders Kai Zen and Tai on all aspects of Elite past, present and future whilst also dwelling overly long on Commander Rini's obsession with honky donks. Honky donks. <laughs> For more details on anything we've talked about in the show this week then check out the video description below. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and be sure to click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos and if you want to help support the work of this channel you'll also find links below to Patreon. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.